This is the intro jingle. This is the K-pop Devok show with Eric Nam. Ooh. Hi guys. So yes, um, I am the guest host, Peniel of B2B. Why am I here? Oh, wait, yes, end the show, right? You're listening to the Tebak show, guys. Yeah, why am I here? Eric, being his irresponsible self, left his podcast in Korea. And he went on a tour. You still da- haven't told me where. Is it Europe or is it Asia? Both. Or Oh, it's both. So yeah. he's just he's just going all over the place. And Latin America. Holy... You know, I'm sure if he actually wanted to, he could have taken a mic and a camera. And he probably could have shot it in his hotel or something. But, um, you know, irresponsible. Irresponsible, Eric. I'm just kidding. He's too busy. He needs to calm down. He needs to take care of his health. Did you see his lip last time? Yeah, he had like a busted lip <laughs> and it was all chapped. And yeah, he needs to sleep. He needs to sleep and he needs to de-stress somehow. He needs to find a way to re- release his stress because that lip did not look pretty at all. But anyways, uh, yes, today's episode. So each episode apparently has a theme. Uh, but today's theme is just my playlist. I just have to talk about three of my favorite songs these days. It doesn't even. It doesn't necessarily need to be my song, but it or can be. It can be. I yeah. mean, why not? Yeah. Good time to you know mark it a little bit. First song, I guess I will start with. We did rock paper scissors earlier, and if I won, I was gonna talk about my song. If Diane won, is it okay if they know your name? If the producer yeah, won, okay. oh okay. If Diane won, uh, I was gonna talk about B2B song, but she sucks at rock paper scissors, so I won. So I will talk about my song. It is called Flip. Featuring Benzino, it is uh, it's like a hip hop song, you know, good for clubs. So if any club owners are out there listening to this, please play my song in the club. Oh uh, yeah, you know, if you just want to have a fun night, I recommend this song. I like this song because it's probably the closest to what I listen to on a daily basis. But I don't really listen to any of my songs. It's, um, is that weird? No. Isn't that normal? Do you listen to your songs yeah. after you release them? Jamie listens to her own you songs. Listen to, you listen to your own songs? Really? No, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think it's really awkward to listen to my own songs. And I kind of get sick of it because you have to listen to it so much and then you have to shoot the music video, you have to listen to it so much and stuff. So I kind of get sick of it by the time I release it. So I don't really listen to it that much. But it's the closest genre to what I listen to on a daily basis. I have an unreleased song and I was actually debating between those two songs, Flip and then the unreleased one, like which one is my favorite. Uh, But out of the released one so far, I would say Flip is my favorite. Next song... Um, my member, Sungjae, Yuk Sungjae, he is doing, like, a project right now. He started in, um, whatchamacallit, December. And then, so it's December, January, February. Each month, he's releasing two singles. And, yeah, so he already released one in December. He released the January one yesterday. Today is the, what day is today? Today is the 17th. So, yeah, on the 16th, he already released it. I don't know when this video is going to get released or this podcast. I can't say the third song. Technically, it's the fifth and sixth song, I guess. There's one on there that I really like because I'm on it. But... What's it called? I don't know. Oh. Because it's not out yet. <laughs> and I don't know when this is going to get released. So, you know, I don't want... So, anyways. Out of the release songs, I like a song called Wow. It's W-A-U. Wow. I'm pretty sure it stands for What About You. It's a very, like, summery song. But he released it in January. But it suits summer. But you know what? It's somewhere, somewhere in the world. So, yeah. Uh, It's a very summery song. It's got that, like, the tropical house vibe. Uh, The drop isn't, like, too crazy. It's not like future bass kind of drop. It's like it's like it's like a very like easy to listen to, you know, um driving down like, I don't know, in like an open car down some random road in LA, palm trees, the beach on one side. You know, it's like that kind of vibe. So I really like that. He also released a song called 
chicken or I I want to be a chicken or wait hold on what was the <laughs> name of the song? <laughs> <laughs> no seriously, it's something called um oh it's just called chicken, <laughs> but the lyrics literally say like I want to be a chicken, and it's because it's like you know how like everyone loves chicken, so he's just pretty much saying like I want to be loved by everyone too, and like he but uh yeah. <laughs> So those two songs, go check them out. If his third set of two songs is released, go check those out too. Uh, I'm sure all the songs are sick. Third song. I don't really listen to K-pop that much. So I just went through, um, you know, the, the fruit the fruit chart in Korea. Mm -hmm. the, the most famous one, I think. The most popular one. And yeah, Psycho. I actually really like that song. Uh, I don't really listen to K-pop, but it doesn't have like that much of a K-pop vibe to begin with. I mean, K-pop, you know, there's nothing wrong with K-pop. I love K-pop. I just prefer songs that um, I can actually understand, like, without having to focus. I actually heard, heard it on the street first. And then I found out that they had a comeback, and I was like, oh, I should probably Who's go. Who's they? Oh, Red Velvet, right. <laughs> yes, Red Velvet Psycho. Yeah, it's actually really good. Uh, you, I don't, when does this get released again? I don't know if it'll be all over the streets by the time you guys are listening to this episode, but right now it's like all over the streets. You walk anywhere, and then you'll probably hear the song at least twice a day if you're like walking around outside or at a cafe or something. It's got a really good hook. It, it's easy to listen to, so I recommend that song. Yeah. Do, you, do you know Red Velvet personally or anybody from Red uh, Velvet? I know a few of them, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's like I'm on like Inza terms with all of them, I guess. Because um, my member shot a reality program with one of the members. <laughs> my member w was quote unquote married to a Red Velvet oh. member. And then um, on one of the episodes, like we all went out, all the members all B2B members and then all Red Velvet members and we went to Everland. And then uh, Wendy actually speaks English. So I was like, all right, English speaker. But yeah, I really like their song. Nice. Okay, what do I do now? Now we're gonna ask you questions from the K-pop Taebak Discord channel. From a user named Min Holy. What's his favorite boba flavor? My favorite boba flavor. There's this place um, by my sister's house in LA. I think it's called Factory Tea Bar, and they have this pot flavored, pot like red bean pot, not like marijuana pot. Is it sweet red bean or like yeah. red bean paste? Or yeah, what it's is like pot? a sweet. It's like sweet red bean paste. Yeah, sweet red bean paste flavored bo uh, boba. I think that is delicious, as fluff. As fluff. <laughs> Next question is from Ivy. Ivy, okay. Will Peniel ever sing a ballad as a solo track in the future? Um, a ballad track by myself? Uh-huh. No? <laughs> it's like, seriously, Ivy, what the... You, you want me to, like, lose fans? You want me to end my career with that one song? I got cut because I couldn't sing! Oh, yeah, <laughs> still what the? fresh wound. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to go. It's like I got cut because I couldn't sing. I'm not going to go and release a ballad track. What the? From Lena, mm -hmm. if Peniel wasn't an idol, what would he be? Oh, wait. So people knew I was going to come on the show? Yes. Oh, what the? That's not fun. Lena, if I wasn't an idol, what would I have been? I think um, I was actually into what you would call it, like bullseye shooting, like competitive bullseye shooting. My parents actually wanted me to go out to the Olympics. Oh, really? Um, so, yeah, I started competitive shooting uh, with a... It started off... Because I think in the Olympics, they might not use an actual gun. It might be like a pellet gun. So I actually had one of those, like the ones that they use in the Olympics. Um, I don't know if it's like the exact one, but I, I actually had one of those. Um, I was actually pretty good, I think. I was actually pretty good. Uh, I went out on a actual competition as well, uh, but it wasn't with the pellet gun. And I found out like last minute that they didn't use pellet guns and I had to get a real gun. 
So I had to actually get a 22 caliber pistol. It is very different from a pellet gun, like the kick and everything, and it's so f <laughs> loud. But um, I didn't do that well in that competition, but my team, so like me overall, I got fifth out of 17, but my team, we still got gold. Wow. Um, so yeah, the other two, you know, stepped up. But I was pretty good, I was pretty good, I was pretty good. Like my highest was 96 out of 100, I think, that I got. So I was, and that was like only like a year into my practice too, my training too. So yeah, I think my parents actually wanted me to go out. I don't know if it was like the London or the Beijing one Olympics, but they wanted me to like actually try out. So I was actually like practicing and I was going to join a team and everything. But then I came to Korea. All yeah. right. Whoa. Okay. So next question is uh, from K-pop idol X. I U M N. The question is, when's the vlogs resuming? I miss them. What vlogs? <laughs> Don't you have a YouTube channel? Huh? <laughs> I have a YouTube channel. What? Mm-hmm. It's weird because I was monetizing, right? Yeah. But then I'm signed under Cube, obviously. So then Cube was in charge of the whole monetizing. I wasn't making like I wasn't making a lot of money. I was making like enough to like maybe buy like one meal, you know? Yeah. I was like, okay, maybe more than one meal. Like I couldn't pay like my house rent or something with that. Okay. But I was still getting some money. But then I stopped for a while cuz I got lazy and I started again and then I wasn't making any money. So I was like, "Huh?" But then if I checked on YouTube, it said I was making money. It was a lot less than what I used to be making, but I was still like making some money. So I was like, what the? So then I called my company and they were like, oh, what? It's like, we didn't get anything. I don't know where the money's going. I'm not getting it. They're not getting it. So I was like, oh, this is weird. So then I'm just on stop right now until we figure that out. Uh, but I'm also just really lazy. And so it's like I used to do daily vlogs pretty much mm -hmm. or like just like it wasn't like a themed thing. You know, it's just like my daily life kind of stuff. And these days. I'm literally doing the same thing over and over again. So I don't have any content to upload. I literally, during the weekdays, I wake up, I'll eat something, I'll go work out, I'll come home, I'll wash up, I'll have a protein shake, and then I'll go to radio. And then I'll come home, I'll have another little snack, and then I'll sleep, and then repeat. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm just playing with my friends. So it's like, I don't really have anything to vlog. Well, the next... I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to think <laughs> of some content where it's not like a daily thing. And hopefully I'll resume soon. But uh, probably not. But, I mean... You and Jamie can do a video together. I'm, I'm thinking about it. But probably not. But, oh, yeah. Uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, maybe, but probably not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, next question is, does Peniel put cereal or milk in first? Cereal and are you a Jamie are said you a milk sociopath? Are you psychotic? You sprinkle cereal. Who sprinkles cereal? What the? I don't want to be in the <laughs> same in the room. Everyone in the room looks so scandalized right now by what Jamie said. I don't want to. Can you leave? <laughs> I'm scared to be in the same room as her. Well, wow, things got heated over this. What I thought was a pretty but, innocuous question. No, yeah, cereal first all the way. People that do. Milk first are low-key sociopaths or psychotic, I think. Oh no, I'm just gosh. kidding. It's not to that extent. But look at look at her right now on her phone. She's probably stalking someone. I just finished watching you. She's probably stalking some. Okay, I know I know. you could just swipe and change the screen. <laughs> oh my Who goodness. are you stalking right now? She's probably stalking someone right now. You know how easy it is to stalk someone these days? It's so <laughs> scary. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe... Maybe fuck? maybe the show just made it seem easier because it's like a TV the show. The show you on Netflix. Yeah, you on Netflix, yeah. but it made it seem like it's so easy to stalk people. I got kind of creeped out. It is easy. Like you're it. After I found out you put milk in first, you're definitely a stalker or something. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> All right. Well, the next question uh -huh. is from I don't know how to read this. Den I Oh, I thought that was the actual username. No. I was like, "Oh, that's a pretty clever username." Okay. It's Dena fed and you i don't know okay uh but they're asking have you like do you ever come up with lyrics like during like random shower thoughts or something like how do you come up with lyrics uh no for me it's usually i have to sit down and i have to like focus they don't really come to me like randomly uh i wish they did but not at the same time 
because I see some people that do that, and that's literally like the only thing that they can like. You know, they're always like, "Oh wait, hold on, where's my phone? I just thought of like a l- lyric." And then it's like I feel like it'll be really stressful. I feel like that's just like you're just like twenty four seven. You're just constantly working. You're not really ever taking a break. Cause I see people do that, like top liners, and then like people that write lyrics and stuff. They're like, they'll be eating, and all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, hold on, where's my phone? I just thought of a cool top line." Or like, "Oh, hold on, I just thought of like a sick like lyric. Like, where's my phone?" And, like they're always looking for their phone. Like we'll be like we'll be <laughs> we'll be bowling or something. All of a sudden they're like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." I'm like, "What? What the?" F-? Oh but, yeah, so, you love um, bowling. Oh yeah, I think it's fun. How often do you go bowling? I think like. At least once a week. Whoa. Once every two weeks. Once What's the week. highest score you've ever had? 219. I have no idea if that's a good score. <laughs> that's oh, a okay. pretty good score. Oh. Do you go by but yourself or do you usually go with friends? Oh, I would never go by myself. I'm not <laughs> that into bowling. <laughs> I'm not that into bowling. Oh, uh, yeah. I, like, I don't have, like, my own gear and everything, you know? Like, I see people come in with, like, luggage bags. Looks like they're about to go to the airport or some stuff, but then they just pull out, like, two bowling balls and then, like this like robot arm and like their own <laughs> glove and like i'm just like oh, okay all right so whatever you know you do you all right but, yeah but okay. anyways what was the question uh no you, you answered oh it. lyrics right yeah. oh yeah so yeah so for me to write lyrics i have to like i have to listen to the beat and then i need like a theme too like i suck at coming up with themes for songs like sometimes i can but then sometimes i'm just like oh i need a theme and then like once we get a general theme down then i just kind of like imagine myself in that situation like of that theme and then that's when i start writing lyrics i can't just randomly yeah all right well last question is from felicious um the question from felicious felicious okay if you're a fruit what would you be okay did you pick these questions they're these are just the questions they asked if i was a fruit what would i be yes what what's king kong What's King Kong? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Literally. Kumquat. That is a funky name. Are you saying that you'd be a kumquat? No, um, maybe a pineapple. So you'd be a pineapple. I guess okay. I'd be a pineapple. Great. Because I like pineapples. That's the only reason. Uh, that's like my favorite fruit, pineapples. Nailed it. I guess. All right. But you know that pineapples, they eat away at protein. So that's why if you eat too many pineapples and your tongue hurts, it's like technically like the pineapple like eating away at your tongue. Yeah. That's what I heard. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that was my random episode of um, the Tebak Show with Neil Shin, not Eric Nam, because he is on tour right now. So go show Eric lots of love too. I'm sure he's tired as balls. Make sure you go support him. I'm sure he'll be uplifted a little bit at least in his hotel room or something, you know, looking through his Twitter or Instagram. I don't know. Speaking of Twitter and Instagram, you should follow the Tebak Show at Tebak Show on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to this show on whatever podcast platform you listen on, I guess. So, yes, so you don't miss out on other episodes. And then subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have awesome content going up almost every day of the week. And there's only going to be more as time goes on. Where can people find you? All right, good. Oh, yes, oh you can gosh. find me <laughs> on Instagram at B-T-O-B-P-E-N-I-E-L, B-T-O-B Peniel. Instagram, just Peniel Shin. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys all had fun. I don't really know what I did, but I had fun. So yes. Uh, bye guys. Outro Dringle. Hey guys, did you guys like that video? Then make sure you guys subscribe to Dive Studios YouTube channel and put your notifications on because we got a lot more great content coming your way. Look at this video. See? Wow. Wow. And this and this is great too. Enjoy. <laughs>